most certainly did not. And uh, just keeping an eye on it, we should be going into this one now here. Freeland has captured the flag. Actually, one of my favourite captured the flag match. First time we've seen captured the flag this weekend as well. Well, it wasn't there yesterday, that's why. Exactly. <laughs> that's but no, this is, this is definitely one of my favourite maps for it as well. It works really efficiently. Both teams able to kind of use that spawn manipulation and push it out. It's also a very quick here. And we do see quite a few as well counter pulls. So keep an eye on for that as well. We see teams trying to get through. Great effective cuts on this map as well. I said, definitely one of my favourite capture the flag yeah. maps. Definitely one of the best capture the flag maps in my opinion. Well, you were Simply because of me, its speed. You were talking to me yesterday about how it plays out. Yeah, I mean, for me, the fact that you've got great cuts here, I was sitting down with Millennium, and Millennium loved this map for Capture the Flag, and they were sitting there going, you know what, we, we were able to push the spawns the way we want to, and then we got spawning on cuts, and if you got spawning on a cut, it's very difficult to get through that cut. It's, it's, I've played he's, against he's, he's, he's a not, cut master. Yeah, he's not very kind about how he plays Call of Duty, let's put it that way. But we will see this Capture the Flag. I think these guys are just sorting out their headsets. We see Orbit actually are... Just, just having a little chat as well and setting themselves up for this. Obviously, it's a massive game for them. If they lose this map, they will be going home in the top 16. They will. And Infuse will be advancing through to the quarterfinals. So it's a big, big game. And I mean, what do Orbit need to do in this situation? Obviously, I think, I think they Infuse need to play, play the uplink they did here. Right now, shut down Petey um, and Urban. I think Marky B's just been solid as a rock. He, he has held a lot of control for them. And he kind of counters his teammates. That's why this one of these teammates works so well, is they're always kind of filling in those slots they need to here. You've got PD and Irvin being aggressive. Well, Monkey B will be the anchor and hold it down. Um, if you orbit, come out aggressive like you did last time. Try to win those. Go away. If you start out slaying them on this map, then you really do have the advantage. Um, at the same time, be very, very careful here because I'm expecting trick players. I'm expecting players to really kind of move forward and uh, like let's pick Zero or PD or Urban to, to flank consistently. Marky be actually coming in with the smoke bands there. We saw, I think, Geth Kid was using them a fair bit in that uplink. They didn't really do too much, but it could be the difference maker. It could be that they chuck them down those, those tight corridors. It makes it very hard for the infused guys to manage to get the pick in their back, and they can just run it free home. The overdrive and overclock. Fairly standard here. I'm wondering if we can see an active camo band as well. That's fairly normal on Capture the Flag. Um, there we go. There it is. Comes in from zero. Uh, Kappa, Bandy, M8 again. They really do not want to face Marky B. Now, we're going to see a high-caliber rapid-fire ban from here. I can see the rapid-fire well, we not see, being we did, we we did see the rapid-fire last time. It, it really depends on, on how you feel if you're Orbit. Now, high-caliber's high gone. He's given it to Geth Kid. Geth Kid is under the gun. Is he Does Geth Kid do it? Because it basically well, changes the entire way you play he, this map. He could take away the tactical mask if he wants to. I think they want that. No, the Cerberus, Cerberus has been taken away. Okay. So it seems Orbit are quite happy to play with Rapid Fire. I wonder how that's going to work out for them. Well, I've, I said yesterday that I wasn't really a fan of their ban and protects. And again, I, I don't think that's, I think that's an uh, unwise yeah, that, decision. That's, uh, I don't think we've ever seen a Cerberus ban before. <laughs> I've seen it once and I laughed when I saw it banned. But well, we're going right. to see how that works out for Geth Kid. And orbits. So I, I think I we're going to see. I think we're going to see Tempest side kinetic and uh, what was the other last one? Um, Heatwave. Sorry. I would have liked to have seen a, a tactical mask ban from them. I mean, they are in a in a situation where they're not really quite on a par with Infused in the respawn. That's why the ban protects so good. Is you can actually kind of play there we the go. You mirror match up. Exactly you what can I said. play the game to your own advantages and play it the way you want to. How do you want the game to play out? And you ban and protect around that. You give yourself the best possible advantage going into this and. I mean, speaking to Tommy yesterday, he was very adamant. They like their tactical mar uh, tactical uh, grenades, so I, I'm surprised that we haven't seen them try and take more advantage of that. I'm really interested here, because now the, the next 75 seconds as this takes down is actually super important. Again, rapid fire is in, and it does change what people are going to be playing here. The M8 ban also is going to be affected, coming into effect. So you're going to be wondering what they're running this time here. I don't think we're going to see the Pharaohs. I do think we're going to see Kudas, actually. Uh, BMP is actually still in this one as well. So, like I said, very kind of interesting to see what they're actually going to be end up running here. Maybe we will see Pharaoh again. We're definitely going to see an M8. Uh, probably an XR2 from RQB. I wouldn't mind seeing an ICR rapid fire, Bryce. I think that'd be fun. I'd be interested to see whether... <laughs> I don't know if this is the map for it. Really? Fringe? Yeah, of I just... All the I, maps. Feel, I feel like there, there are more efficient things to pick on this map than okay. that. Fair Especially, enough. like... Consider, oh, I said the reason I'll it, trust it's, the it's, la it, it's, it's laser accurate and stuff, and you may see one. If you're going to see one, it'll be Zero that runs it. Yeah. Um, well, but he I was just running it like on breach of all maps yesterday. Yeah, I think the laser accuracy is great, but you've got to remember if you, you want damage, because if that flat carry is going around a corner, you don't want to have to put in that extra bullet, which you might have to do with an ICR. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I see him rocket off the break. 
I mean, if it, depending on the side he's on, he, he obviously get on one of the one of those nasty little head glitches and just prop himself up there. Make sure no one's coming across the the, the actual drone, uh, not the drone, the middle of the map itself. So he can lock that down by his own on his own. Pick anyone off that might be hiding in a nasty little corner. And he'll give himself, he'll basically lock down that mid street for himself. So all his teammates have to worry about is pushing through one of the corridors. Well, we're going to find out whether or not, and it really kind of depends on what I think Zero's playing here. Now, Marky, I'm fairly certain, is going to be sitting quite static and just going for control. Yeah. Um, obviously, I think Petey and Irving will be very, very aggressive. Petey's going to be super aggressive anyway. Uh, but I am interested to see what Zero's doing. So. This is going to be the fourth map of the series. Fringe capture the flag. The score limit is unlimited. Time limit of five minutes and a respawn delay of 7.5 seconds. Now, Bryce, if you do find yourself going down, that is a long time. 7.5 seconds. I mean, that's about as much time as it takes me to talk about the respawn delay. <laughs> so that's a long time, especially if you don't like listening to me. That could feel like a decade. And in this game, it every really second like counts. All right, well, let's jump into this one. We kind of see what these are playing here. M8 coming in. I said it's a little bit more efficient in my mind. Two M8s coming in as well. Uh, Pharaoh for PD. So look what everybody is running. Two Pharaohs. We can see Fist there. What's he actually running? HVK. Oh, I like this. I'm a fan. Let's jump on board with me, Mr. See how effective it is. Okay, not very not effective really as Danny effective. goes. <laughs> and already Infuser really opening this one up. It's going to be Kappa. Kappa left one, last one alive. And you see the push coming down, but Train Zero's going to take him down as well, and it's already going to be a pull. Urban is now going to pull this one away. Marky B is going to try and get one of the cuts. It's going to be home. That is pretty much a home. I think it is. It's going to be down flag. to Marky. Let's jump on board with Marky. Is Marky's going to have the cut? And this they've got to get important. through. Picks off one. Looks for the second as well. Marky just tries to get this one. Stays He's alive. Eventually picks though. him up. The and there we go. That's it. The first one already home here. Infused a one nil up. It took 40 seconds to get that capture, Bryce. And uh, based on previous capture of the flags, I've seen it. That's probably one of the fastest I've seen, at least. It's not exactly every day that you see a straight up aggression from Infused and find a, a flag cap that quickly. But you saw them spawn over onto their junkyard, and there's so many buildings yes, and objects in the way that makes it so difficult to actually get back and regain that one. So you've got to make sure you get the kills down on the capture the flag, Bryce, because I that wonder, respawn I wonder delay if makes it so difficult. Just peek out and nick this one. Now. Another pull coming in here. Urban will rip again. Geth Kid is in a position. They don't know where he is. Now, what does Geth Kid do? Does he go for the counter pull? Oh, he's just been seen. Information coming in. Needs to make this one. No. no. Marky B shut it down. Marky B has That's put down as well, though. But Petey will close that one down as well. And it's now 2 0 infused. Petey and his crew are doing a great job so Look far. They're just unstoppable. Well, they just keep pushing down this train side. And obviously, they're going to start spawning onto the Zero, six, yard. and one. Uh, six and two. <laughs> Orbit just needs to slow this one down. And yeah, we go. They finally got a little bit of control. Gef Kid picks up the, those two kills and they can start to push out. Here comes Infuse, sporting in tin. Marky B sat on this train, just watching the dome in case someone does come around the back. He does spot him. Zero picks up one kill as well. So they're going to start to push out here. Mimas picks up Petey. Urban pushing down towards the orange truck. Does manage to pick up Mimas in the end. The real sat behind. This white truck does get shots down and they pinned Infuse back into their base. Got to be really careful and methodical about how they push this one. But unfortunately for them, they're not winning the trades, Bryce. They're certainly not on board with Kappa. And you can see Mimas is with them as well. But look at that. The Infused are swarming them. Kappa's now like, oh, patience. Super patience coming in. He wants one. He's going to look for the second. Not quite able to see it. I don't even think Who is that? It's zero. He, he zero. literally does not care. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Kappa Marky now B. coming on Marky B. Marky B is just waiting. Super defensive, super patient, and they don't even know where he is now. He was expecting to see him already. Pre-aiming silos, gonna go for it. Marky B to try to trade that one oh, away and does. Unlucky. ACXD down as well on the flag, and they go clears it out. Urban will clear out the reel from silos, and again everybody's spawning back up. Massive reset here. Marky just sitting back again, doing a solid job of holding that for Infuse. Here comes Urban down onto trains. Heat wave comes out. And the Kappa does get the kill. Gef Kid also trades away. PE equalizes it a little bit. Now he's pushing Def towards Kid. the back silos. Got to get through Marky B still. And they know he's here as well. Looking for it. Got kill as well. Gef Kid goes for that one. Hits the Kinetic. Going to try and turn his back as well. Oh. Use the Kinetic in great fashion to get out. One more player to challenge. He's still got Kinetic. Not oh. able to turn and burn. 
Uh, they're going to get that away, I think. It is going to get it away. They've got to cut off the junkyard right now. As Petey's going. Are spawning in their numbers. Here comes the man. Zero gets that one. This could be an interesting affair. Kappa makes the kill. Marky B also gets a kill on Kappa. The Tempest has come out from Zero. He pulls the flag. Oh, he's he's been stunned. stunned. It's going to be picked up. Can they get the flag in? There's still a member of Infuse. Gefkin no, picks that again. one up. 2-1 now with a minute to spare. Great play from them there. A little bit nervous when Zero got it, but he did get to get stunned. But Urban just rips it straight back. Urban's running it away. He doesn't even have that much support. It's not evil. He's going straight down the middle. Not quite able to make it, though. Meme is last one alive. He's going to be pre-aiming this one. He's going to lose to Petey. Petey will take it. Marky B eventually rips it away. Marky B finally be getting out of his spawn. He didn't even know what the middle of the map looked like for most of this game. But <laughs> we'll get it. Counter cap coming in. Marky B is going to cap that one, and he does have that Scythe available. I'm sure we're going to be seeing that. I reckon we'll save it to the second side now. Yeah. Aggressive start, I imagine, will come out of them once again. And that side will give them a great start as well. Here comes Petey with that Pharaoh. Great shots to get him off that hay bow. Petey jumps into the and top barn house. Oh, unfortunately doesn't see Kappa hiding in the corner there. And this is just going to be seen out for the last 10 Let's seconds. Have a quick look in the last 10 seconds, what everybody's got. Do you see a Tempest and a HCXD? Uh, another HCXD. Heatwave, that'll be up very shortly for Kappa. He's got a HCXD, marky has got Scythe. a Scythe. I think that was it. Just a few specialists and a few HCXDs. Nothing game-breaking. Infuse looking very happy about their position now. Great first game for them. They get this underway and they'll be looking forward to the next matchup that they'll have. Oh, most certainly. I think this is Infused are very, very confident now with those pulls going down. Um, they expect them to be a little bit more aggressive actually on this side. It's a little bit more difficult to hold. Not that great position here, which Marky B was sitting in the entire game. So I'm curious to see whether or not they can do the same thing. The uh, and now we are going to jump on board with Gefkid to begin with. Yeah, he's going to run down this train side. Completely uncontested here. Infused a little bit slow on that, but they are pulling out the HCXD. Gefkid gets the shots down there. Petey knows he is inside this closet. Flashbangs do what? go down. Unfortunately, they're not going to pick anything up. Here comes Petey onto this train side. He does have support. He Oh my Absolutely goodness, Petey. destroys Kappa there, and he's on fire right now, pushing forward for the flag. There is one man left for the team of Orbit, it's and it's going to be the real. Down he goes, though. Zero goes down as well, but Urban's in a position, but he's alone. So he's actually going to wait this one out because he's got no support whatsoever. He's just trying to be a nuisance and open the map up have for his team. Him? Yeah, they have the seen him. They're a little bit like, GameCube like, went, wait a minute, that's not grass. <laughs> Right, well, slow down a little bit here as both teams fight for control. And uh, actually, they're being very cautious here. Marky B has set up again. Trophy system out as well for him. But well, actually, no a little bit more... There's no reason for them to rush this at no, this it's, it's more conservative, conservative from Infused. Two flags up. They've done their mission so far. They've just got to see this out for the next three minutes, 50, if they want to. Urban setting up, ready for anyone to push down the map and see if he can pick up someone. He does get a heat wave as well. That's going to come in handy if they do start to pull the flag away. Very defensive setup from Infuse right it is. now. Urban's trying to get map control. He's going to be able to get it again here. Now, they, if they can clear their lines and know they're okay, Urban's going to push out. Petey will join him very, very shortly as soon as he spawns back up. Urban's going for that one. Heatwave popped as well, but it ends up losing it. But look at them now. They know they've got a few kills down. They know players are coming off the respawn, so they're going to get map control. Petey's going to try and make some amazing plays. Pops is kinetic as well. Turns the burns. Not able to get more than one kill off of that one, though. What I think they're just trying to do is, obviously Urban by himself is going straight into their spawn, and what he's doing is just trying to disrupt them. Cause as much of a delay on their attempts at pushing forward on the map as possible, which is why you don't see them being too aggressive. They're happy to send someone on a free mission to disrupt the Orbit team and rock that time down. It's all they need to do at this point. Quarter goes down, that push did not work for him. Kappa, it's, he's, you see Mark be on our screen. Just not able to quite get him here. I think that's what they're worried for. They know they need enough bodies to defeat Marky B. But Petey picks up another big three kills and just pushes out again. Petey yeah, don't care. In closet. Yeah, he does not care. He's, he's a rabid badger and he just does whatever the hell he feels like right now. Well, let's see if he can continue here. Has support. It's going to be Zero with him as well. Zero has the Tempest out. He's trying to clear this now for Petey. Petey is still alive. Picks up that kill with a HCXD. Clears it out. One more player to challenge him. Can Petey make this kill? He does make that kill as well. Petey being such a nuisance for Team Infused. And he's now on a six streak at the same time. He puts this one home. He's going to be very close to streaks. Marky B has the side out. Look at that. Marky says, you know what? I'm going to get the cuts with this. Oh, he's got his streaks as well, Marky. Petey's going to put that one home as well. Petey does get full streaks. And this is going to be just 
This is going to be a formality. This is a good night. Price. It's just going to be. Oh my goodness! This is that bit pulled again. Urban has pulled it away by himself, and is now desperately trying to fight his way out as his teammates come to back him up here, and he's got it away. However, Marky B finally goes down. Zero is going to have to get a cut all of his own. That was literally just a desperation play there from Urban. Oh, oh the kinetic no! armor comes in from Gefkid. Hellstorm is going to be unleashed. Doesn't get anyone this time, unfortunately. It's and we're going to have Petey. a standoff. Petey here. has kinetic as well. Kinetic has been popped. Petey just says thank you very much for that. Didn't even need it. Urban trying to get through. Urban with a slide cap shoot. Takes him down. Easy kills. Urban just on a tear as well. Petey's now on an eight streak. He's just going for it. He doesn't care. He's, he's quite happy and content. He's got so many streaks in his arsenal right now as well. He as hasn't. Team. I don't think he's died since his last cap. He hasn't. He's still alive since the last time we saw him. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Kappa picks up the kill there. Mimas also trying to attempt something for Orbit, but it's not going to happen. Urban pulls out the Hellstorm. It's going to be some information for the boys. He oh, does get the two. double kill there. I wasn't expecting that one. And one of the players one. had a side as well. Pops his lightning strike. Looks like they're just calling in the artillery here infused. They're just laying to waste. The clock down. They are. They don't even have to worry about it too much. Just continue to be aggressive here. The thing is they now they can play loose and fast now. It's an unlosable situa situation. Call it in, get the kills, have a little bit of fun with it. They love a bit of Call of Duty, Bryce, and they're love gonna play until the uh, to the final seconds of the game. And you're gonna have Urban and I believe that was Petey pushing forward, but they are gonna be stopped. And it looks like Infused are going to be taking this best of five, and they'll be advancing through to the quarterfinals of the EGL Open 2016. So that will be it's that good. Price. Marcus actually only had 18 engagements this entire game. Now, in 10 minutes, that means one point a minute. 1.8 a minute, sorry. Which is interesting. It, it means Marky B's very lonely. <laughs> if you're uh, out there in the crowd right now, give Marky B a little bit of a hug. Tell him, you know, you feel... I'll go give feel him a hug after this. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Marky B, I think the curious thing about their orbit... Were, were very timid around it. They knew that it's very difficult to move Marky B. So they actually were trying to get massive amount of numbers before they pushed the flag. And the issue being is that Infuse were never allowing them to do that. They were, they were Infuse were going, why are you waiting? We'll just keep trading kills. Um, and Orbit were just nervous. They didn't want to go against Marky B. They said, we can't push him out of his spawn with just one of us. And every time we do, they rip our flag away. Um, you know, I think that was just Infuse showing how much better they are. Well, that's the thing about capture the flag. It can be and so Petey, of course. Yeah, it can be so hard to actually get the flag away and get caps for yourself that you you start to panic when you are on the attack and you're not quite sure. You're looking yeah. all over the place with people. You sacrifice men to actually get just towards the flag itself, and then unfortunately you've got to come up against someone like Marky B, who does not miss his shots very often. So it's going to be so hard to actually break him down. You can see the breakdown of the actual match that went down. Three to one was the best of five series for Infused and Orbit, unfortunately, will be finding themselves eliminated from the tournament. And that was that was a good series. I like that. It was a good series. It was. Uh, I think the Session Destroy was a surprise. Yeah. Um, didn't actually expect them to be as effective as they were. But Infused do get their first win and they do move through the bracket. Games coming up or games being played at the moment. As soon as we get those scores, we will update you. You can actually see the games on your screen right now. We've got Team LDLC against Rampage Tempo. We've got Splice versus No Good Gaming. Excel versus Hyper Games. We've got Millennium versus Enraged Esports. We've got TCM versus Ionide. Epsilon versus Fab E. And Vitality versus Exertus. Now, some of these games are actually going on at the moment. Uh, I uh, imagine as soon some as of them might be wrapping up by now. Yeah, there might, there might be one or two wrapping up. As soon as we get the, so the score update, we will kind of bring it to you guys as live as possible. The next game on the main stage as well will be setting up as soon as you can see, you know, Infuse getting off the main stage. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what game we will actually see here. I, I imagine we're going to be starting to move into the round of 16. What a round of eight, round sorry. Of eight, yeah. I think what was quite a thing yesterday, I'll be surprised to see how many pro teams actually fall out at the round of 16 stage. We were saying it yesterday. It'd be really I surprising think, to see what I think teams one do. Of, I'll tell you what, let's have a quick... I mean, the bracket's up there now. I'm thinking... I'd say I think uh, LDLC, Vitality are in a worry for me. I don't know. It just didn't look super strong for me. I think Vitality have got that. Um, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. I've got to disagree with you there. Okay. It's fun to disagree. LDLC. The one that worries me most is LDLC. I think Tempo looked fantastic against TCM yesterday. Um, who else have we got? Mill is enraged. I don't know. That should be fine. Uh, TCM Ionide is another one that's a little bit of a worry. Ionide looked very strong yesterday. TCM, 
are they really good enough? That's the question we're going to be seeing again. We saw them only really challenged by tempo. Uh, so that's another big challenge for them. And of course, if they do get through that, they should be playing Millenniums. And that would go shock one me, to yeah. be honest. I think I and I are not quite on the same caliber as TCM here. Well, they didn't look particularly great yesterday from what I saw. Um, Excel, Hyper Games, interesting. Excel didn't have the greatest of starts to the tournament. I was going to say this. Hyper Games, if they play as great as we have seen them in the past, yeah. and they really come today like ready to give everything they can, they could potentially upset Excel. And Excel, as you said, haven't, they've had a bit of a rocky run of form so far on the, well, in the CWL. So it'll, we'll have to see if that works out on land for them. It most certainly does well. Thank you very much. We are now going to hand over to an interview with Tommy and Zero. So we're gonna hand it over to them. Guys, take it away.